full of carrots. Holy shit. <laughs> you can't. I need to set up, like, I need to up my, uh, my production value, <laughs> um, commercials and all that. Not really, no. <laughs> It's like I, I, I've got a ton of scenes in my OBS. And it's like I was late to stream today because I was trying to set up the Xanax Chef intro. Um, I've got some friends coming over for, uh, for, for gaming later tonight. Hmm. Uh, what are you playing? Hmm? I want to play Curse of Strahd so bad, but everyone in my friend group has already played it. So they don't want to play it with me. All right, and I've brought us up. Uh, that's interesting. Some au one audio file mixer isn't working. It's kind of strange, but anyway, uh, as always, we will be getting everything straightened away on the fly. As things are oh, okay, there we go. I fixed the audio issue there. Okay, there's the music. Welcome to the Untitled R Stream, everybody. Uh, today. We've got another request going on. We are going to be working on Doctor Who. Our very own BPL chef will be... Oh, and straight from Carrot Hell. Yes, and he's Holy actually going to be crow. us. Holy So many us. carrots. So what was today's... Uh, what was today's meal did, or it, work you did? It wasn't necessarily a meal. It was... It wasn't meal prep, which was, like, the premise of my mm -hmm. cooking show. It's just like, hey, I got work. I like to have something to eat at work. And, hey, I'm free, so let's just cook. And then at the meetup, at the meetup last year, we had, uh, they were impressed by my cooking. Diggs was just like, hey, here. You should do this Make thing. food, uh, make food on stream. <laughs> and then I started. Fair enough. Um, no, uh, the Zamok Chef mm -hmm. um, idea came yes. about because of uh, it, because the cooking club wanted to do something mm -hmm. to keep people engaged. Right. For a while, it was we were doing a monthly goodness. recipe. Mm -hmm. And then people just kind of lost interest in that. Um, I think the scaling might be a little off. Yeah, it is. It the... is. I'm trying to I'm trying to match it up right now, and that door is definitely not lining up. Okay. 
That's something. That's yeah, something. The, the the inner uh, or, or the, uh, the the one with the chef hat, I think, is like a little it's, smaller. It's, squ it's squished a little bit. Yeah, it's squished a little bit. Okay, that's that's fine. We could just grab we could just grab a chef hat ping and PNG from the internet here. <laughs> chef um, hat PNG. But, uh, but the Zamok chef is an attempt to keep people engaged in the cooking club. Mm -hmm. um, as text in the intro described it, it is not a competition to make food better. It is a poor imitation run by fools. But we are here to have fun. Okay. Um, and the recipe, or the secret ingredient... Mm -hmm. That was chosen was carrots. Oh, okay. We made a bunch of carrot stuff. Carrot things. That I mean, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, okay. Question: What kind of uh, chef's hat do we want? Do you want like the floppy Swedish chef's hat, or do you want like the tall ratatouille chef's hat, or what? What kind of chef's hat? Um, given that I kind of have, I, I actually own the floppy hat. Okay. And my and my current uh, Discord thing was me grabbing the floppy hat. Okay. So we're going to go with the Yorn Day Shurdy 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 hat. You bork, bork, bork. Exactly. Okay. Let's see here. Let me grab, let me look at the food here. I loved, uh, <laughs> I loved the Swedish chef's, uh, donut recipe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're sure you're sure you're sure. It throws up in the air and then pah, blunder boost. The blunder boost, yes. <laughs> uh, the one I always remember. Uh, is also like one of the easiest ones to. Uh, it might actually be the hat you grabbed. It's in the picture actually I'm looking at. Yeah, I think that is. Anyway, is the chocolate mousse recipe. If you be for the chocolate mousse. If you see for the chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> yum, 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 the chocolate. He's got, you know, a nice vat of chocolate, just your know, soup. Yeah, and, then, and, now, and then a Muppet mousse. And now the mousse. And then we put the chocolate on the mousse. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Swedish chef so much. I loved the Muppet revivals on YouTube um, yes, in the early uh, 2010s. Yeah. Yeah, with uh, pretty good. <laughs> Today, the poop corn is shrimpy. Yes, that's probably the most famous one. Then, yes. the the corn. Yes, that one is probably the most famous. Is the uh, hot butter is the popcorn one. Uh, but yeah, they they did pretty good. Um, oh man, that's uh, that's gonna blank out so much though when I try and cut out the uh, file there. Yeah, okay. no, no. When I uh, it, so for the longest time, just David Tennant just poking uh -huh. his head out of the TARDIS was my Discord image. Uh -huh. Um, and then. After participating in the cooking club for so long, I got named Who's the Chef. Ah. Um, and then I was just like, okay, I just need to like shittily put a chef's hat on David Tennant. Okay. And I would say you hurriedly did that, which is fine. Uh, let's see, reference yes. pictures, chef's hat, okay. Right, I think we say yeah, that Doctor. Once. Yeah, David Tennant's back on Doctor Who, which is... Oh, he is? Hilarious. Okay. I mean, wasn't he like the most popular one at the time? Yes, I I, I believe so. Yeah, in in, um, in, the, in the in recent uh, Doctor Whovery, I he probably I believe he was the most famous one. Holy hell! Look at that. Okay, let's try and a, pull some of that that's back. A big hat. There we go. We pulled some of that there. Now we made it transparent. Okay. Yeah. Save as. Wow. Why save as a JPEG? Anyway, we're going to say this as a PNG. Chef's at PNG, yes. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and turn uh, paint.net off. And then I'll jump into uh, Clip Studio itself. Yes, then... my my favorite story about David Tennant. Yes, go ahead. Is about, uh, it, it, it is about um, I think her name, her last name at the point was Georgia Moffat. Okay. Um, so Georgia Moffat was the daughter of Peter Davidson. Is he one of the, the fifth doctor? Okay, I was gonna say, is that he, he had been some kind of he had been one of the doctors. Peter Davidson, the fifth doctor, had a daughter named Georgia. Okay, Georgia then got a role on uh, Georgia, then got a role on Doctor Who. 
Okay, not that one. In an episode titled The Doctor's Daughter, oh. playing the titular Daughter of the Doctor. Uh huh. Then, David and Georgia apparently hit it off swimmingly. Oh. Got married. And then had a daughter. Okay, this is starting to the get. The doctor's the doctor's daughter played the doctor's daughter, then married the doctor, and had the doctor's daughter. Ah, so much is going on here. So much. Is and going they are on apparently they, they are apparently very very cute. All right. All right they are a very one. cute couple. I decided to go with this hat instead because it just looks a little bit better. So. All right, everything's done there, so let's go ahead and open. It, it's also flatter. Like, uh, like, I think when I first shittily did this, mm -hmm. um, I tried that first hat. Then I got this second hat. Okay, let's go ahead and edit this. We just got to transform it. Flew to horizontal, the flipper, the flipper. But, um... During... During the, uh the Doctor Who anniversary stuff, mm -hmm. I was honestly a little disappointed mm -hmm. that Christopher Eccleston didn't make a return, but he... Was and he the, the, the bow tie? He, he, no, Christopher okay. Eccleston was uh, the 10th... Uh, what was the ninth Doctor? Okay. I, I will um, say the, this. The, uh... the very first Doctor from the... Uh, on the revival. Okay, so I, I don't know much about Doctor Who. I'm not a Whovian myself. I will say that. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna grab it um, just up here. Actually. But he and the show writers had a very massive uh, disagreement about the show. Mm. Uh, about about uh, certain the things. direction, about the direction of the character, the direction of the show, and all that. Um, he. Oh wait! It, it, yeah. it, it, they just wanted different things, which was fine. But it, uh, but I, I I think he I think uh, Eccleston was just insulted a lot mm. and just just didn't feel respected. Um, so he was just like, "Screw it, I'm out." That's fair. Okay. So um, I just turned I I, I feel like he would have been a good doctor. He would have been really fun. Okay, so first thing what we're going to try and do is I'd like to try and get rid of that hair right there. I want to try and get that out. So we're just going to jump right into our color layer here. All right. Uh, we really don't need a backfill because that's what we're doing here. So we're just going to put layer one here. Uh, twelve is Capaldi, right? I, I I'll be honest. I, I like I said. I yeah. I, I, D D Diggy and chat. Yeah. Yeah. I think twelve is Capaldi. Yeah. It, yeah. Because ten is Tenant. Eleven is Matt Smith. Mm -hmm. 12 is Capaldi, 13 is uh, Jodie Foster, okay. and 14 is back to David Tennant? That's, now, is, is, is he the same doctor, or just a different doctor that looks like that doctor? I guess is the ultimate question. I have no idea. I haven't been paying attention to the show yeah, recently. <laughs> All right, no, I don't like that one. Uh, yeah, because um, I, just, I just know a handful of the doctors. I know there was David Tennant. I know the. I know that then there was the one that wore the bow tie, Matt Smith, which is the reason why I know how to tie a bow tie. Fair enough. Uh, and then because bow ties are cool. That's a, and then that's about it. That's about it was basically just those two doctors, and then it just kind of fell out of as far as I know popularity in the states after those two. Um, one thing I do like about Peter Capaldi was he grew up on Doctor Who, and he was a re he was a really really big fan. I need to make that look dark. Um, actually, let's grab that color. Uh, 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 Capaldi like grew up being a really big fan of Doctor mm -hmm. Who. Um, what I also like is he is also friends with Stephen Colbert. Mm -hmm. And my blend. there it is. Capaldi. I'm going to tell you this Capaldi right now. Capaldi and Colbert. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you this right now. Uh, feel free to keep talking. You're going to find I mutter to myself a lot while just uh, while working. So, okay, don't worry fair. about don't worry about talking <laughs> over me if it's a lot of things like, oh, let's try this instead, or I'm going to do this, and or where's this tool at? So, 
You don't need to worry Painted about- Painted Benji tubes says some kind of monster. The little doctor had long hair. I'll find out which doctor it was. Um, yeah. Was it a lady doctor? Because that was pro probably Jodie Foster. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know there was a lady doctor, which because the internet, the internet caused a lot of controversy. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, yeah, that's... that's probably an older doctor then. Um, Just keep blending, but... keep blending, keep blending. Anyway, where was I? Yes, Capaldi and Stephen Colbert are good friends, and yes. they both very much like Doctor Who. Uh, Doctor Who, or, or Doctor Who, uh, co uh, um, after Capaldi got the role That's good. I of like that. Doctor Who, yes, um, he went on to Stephen Colbert as the guest, mm -hmm. and they just proceeded to nerd out about Doctor Who. Fantastic, as as one should, as one should. Okay, there we go. All right, we um, got that no, uh, okay. Diggy, uh, I am working on Doctor uh, on Tom Baker's scarf. It is a labor of love. Okay. It is obscenely long. Okay, yeah, I know there's a scarf I know there is a scarf doctor. I do know that. Um yeah. That's number four. That's Tom Baker. Okay. Um my one of my favorite David Tennant Doctor Who facts besides the uh, Georgia Moffat thing mm -hmm. um, is that David Tennant is very Scottish. Yes, yes he is. As a matter of fact, because of that is why he got the role of Scrooge McDuck in the DuckTales reboot. I forgot about that. Either yeah. way. A anyway, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. He is very Scottish. Yeah, I will say... Like, uh, so I, much so that, like, if he's not on English television, he has an extremely thick Scottish brogue. Yeah. Yeah. I will say this. Um, I didn't mind. I, I, I did watch the DuckTales reboot, and, you know, it was pretty dang good after watching it all. But uh, for a majority of the cast, if they wanted to, they could have gotten the original voice actors back for that show. Probably, right? No, no, they, they, they could have, because... They more or less did for the DuckTales remake that Capcom did of the video game uh, a few ah. years ago. And yeah, the voice of Scrooge McDuck, the original voice of Scrooge McDuck, that guy was like... He's, he's pushing 100 now, I know that. I mean, he was in his early 90s when the uh, game remake came out. But yeah, he's, uh, he's up there, but, you know, still able to do the work. Or at least at, nice. that, time he was able, at, least at that time he was able to, yeah. But anyway... Uh, David Tennant being extremely Scottish and Doctor Who. Mm -hmm. um, he wanted to... Oh. He, he wanted his Doctor Who outfit to be... Uh, to include a kilt. <laughs> oh, we're getting a raid from Diggs. Look at that. Diggs! I hope, the alert, I hope the alerts are coming up. They should be in that top left corner if they are working properly. But I not. did not see any. Yeah, and I'm not hearing anything, so we might... Do we have anything set for raids? I've got no idea. I'm not in charge of the channel. <laughs> I just work here. Okay. Anyway, you've got a mustache, right there, right, right, Doc? Uh, yes, I do have a mustache. Okay. All right. So we're gonna give this doctor a mustache. You darn us, Phil. Uh, what's up? All right. Let's. Uh... Okay, I don't know what kind of must. I know he has glasses, so we'll just put the glasses down here for basis for now. <laughs> okay, what kind, of, what kind of mustache do you have? Like, is it like a full? Stash? It's a uh, 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 um, it's it's more approaching it's more approaching uh, Magnum PI than it is Gomez Adams. Okay, so it's not Gomez. It's Ma it's Magnum PI. Okay, and that's Burt. That was was that Burt Reynolds? No, that wasn't Burt Reynolds. Burt Re I know Burt Reynolds was a bandit. I uh, um, yeah, it, it, not it, not quite as caterpillar, but uh, but yeah. Give me the original damn Magnum. Yeah, the original Magnum PI. Yeah, that's uh. Oh, Tom Selleck. Okay, it's Tom Selleck. That's it. Okay, I mean. As, as terrible as for me to say, uh, it's easy to get those two mustaches mixed up because they were similar. <laughs> Pretty much, right? Um, 
I, I will say not quite as prodigious as that, but... <laughs> so maybe a little something like that? Oh, here, you know what? So you get a little more of a live feed. Let me go ahead and do this for you. There, you got a little more live feed there in the studio. There, how's that? How's there. what? I, I, I put up a little more of a live feed in the studio for you in the Discord so you can... uh. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, so so you don't have quite the delay. So is that about what we're going, what what you're going with with the mustache right now? Bit smaller on the sides, but yeah, a little bit smaller on the sides. So maybe not as pointed. Maybe a little bit like that. Um, that uh, I I'd say that that curve is isn't quite as curvy. Top or bottom curve. The, the the top. Okay, so maybe it's a little more straight then. Okay. Yeah. I hell. I said I have a mustache. You're the artist. You make the mustache. You're playing with fire now. <laughs> that that's that's pretty close. That was pretty close. Okay, that was pretty close. Okay, say because you're playing with fire now. Because I mean, again, I'm the artist, so you know we could have just gone the whole. Handlebar Fu Manchu. <laughs> no, um, on there. my uh, Let's go with my work won't. My work doesn't let me uh, have uh, yeah, just do fun like that. facial hair, so I'm just I just have the mustache because I can. That's fair. Matthew, we'll bring it back. <laughs> Um, I, I I would say follow the curves of his uh, uh follow the curves of his uh of his, of his lip of oh, the contour yeah, there yeah yeah okay it's it, it's pretty much if you take the uh take that back like you can see yeah you, you can also kind of see his uh, his uh mustache shadow right there yeah uh not. Again, yeah, close enough. You're not going to get it perfect without like a picture of me. Pretty much, yeah. Without just putting your face on the screen and tracing it. You're just close enough. Have fun. There you go. Get your little soul patch in there, Chief. Now. All right, and I know you're wearing not glasses. Allowed to have, <laughs> not allowed to have a soul patch, but thank you. We'll get you a mom tattoo here. No, we have fun here on the on the art show. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, and I say, I know you wear glasses. Um, are they like a full frame or like a half top or bottom frame? They are. Uh, they're they're full frame. Uh, a, a full frame, full plastic tortoise shell. Tortoise shell. So it's so like a more a round, so more round than uh, they would be a square. Rectangular. Okay, so they're, right, they're, they're right. rectangular. Yeah. So something a little bit like that, then. Probably with, like, rounded mm -hmm. edges. It's not just sharp corners. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. Like, like, kind of bulging out the top and bottom a little bit. They're not, like, straight yeah. rectangles, but yeah. Yeah. I tried to catch the stream earlier, but I was but I was making dinner myself. Yeah, hey, don't worry about out. it, man. Uh, how thick are the arms on the side? Are they like pencil thick? Or are they like like pencil thin? They're, they're about pencil. Yeah. Okay, so they'd be just a basic basic bitch little line then, basically, huh? Hey, okay. I have an idea. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you could turn. There you that. go. Yeah, you could do that. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I'll join you uh, once they get here. Oh shit. Okay, I see what I'm looking at now. people to come out. Yeah. I've messed up my, uh... Oh no, it's alright. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for those of you... Or for, for those of you listening, um... It, uh, uh, I just put turned my camera on in Discord, and he, now he's looking at me. Okay, yeah. Go ahead um, and turn your head to either one side real quick. So, okay. Yeah, the arms are... Yeah, the arms are a little thick. They're not... They're not... 
They're not pencil thin where they could just be represented by a simple line. No, they're a little bit thicker, so we got a little something, a little meat to work in there. Okay. Here we go. Let's just uh, double check that. Yeah. Mustache might be more represented with something like that. Let's go ahead and go back, turn that off. Let's see, how, how would this look compared? <laughs> this is... Okay. I never would have expected just to get turned into David Tennant. <laughs> Yeah, okay, uh, I guess, what would you prefer? Would you prefer a full mustache like that we'll work with? Or would you want to go with that more individual uh, design right there? Where I'm uh, whatever be... you think's funnier. I mean, if whatever I think's funnier, we're just, let me, here, let me just go ahead and grab these then. Let me just get the disguise kit then. It's this guy, oh, it's not in there. Uh, wrong folder, this folder. Here, let me just grab the disguise kit. The then. combat. Ah, uh, the Groucho marks. <laughs> if I want to, I can just, you know, slap these on and call it done. I mean, it wouldn't be inaccurate. <laughs> there, picture set. Finito. All right, stream's done. Catch you later, guys. Bye. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> No, no, we'll take that off now. <laughs> that is my go-to D&D disguise kit picture. When someone just says, oh, I'm using a disguise kit, I just throw that up right there. Like, that's what the disguise kit in my D&D games are. Unless you're more specified, that's what the disguise kit is in D&D if I ever DM'd. Uh, you know what? We'll play with both, actually, I think. We'll play with both ideas, see which one w looks better in the end. All right. Uh, so we've got the that's basic good. idea there. Um, I'm probably going to... Because it's good, it is a smaller picture, uh, and the lines, I'm going to go smaller lines, so real quick. Let's turn the mustache back on. Pop that. Pop that. Uh, let's grab... Let's just grab a blue. A nice TARDIS blue. Oh, I'm going to be seeing that TARDIS next month. Uh, ooh, what's going on? Uh, I'm going to... Uh, ASEN in Rosemont for an anime central next month. And Ooh. I mean, as long as I've been going there, someone has brought their TARDIS replica there. Like it is like, you know, just a big oh. wooden phone booth for people just to take pictures with. It's been there year in, year out for over for the past ten plus years I've been going. That's fun. Yeah. Alright. That's so fun. Stash one. Stash two. And then we'll have glasses there. And if I'm looking here. Uh oh. What's up? What's up? I think. Yeah, if you're going to get rolling, man, go ahead and head on out. Here. Yes, my people are here. Heck yeah. Well, don't worry. You go have fun. I'll spit the rest hey, of this buddy. out. All righty. Well, uh, right. thank you, Striker, for having me. Thank you for uh, having fun with the uh, uh, for having fun with the. Uh, with the hey, can you make me a Discord icon? Yeah. Yeah. It's no problem. No problem at all. All right. See you guys. And remember, carrots is the Zamic ingredients. Carrots. All right. See you guys. Later. All right. Well, now that he's gone, let's say nice things behind his back. Let's say nice things about him behind his back. Either way, I'm going to do it like this, I think, though. All right. Um, I skipped my texture pen out because I like this one when... No, it's the... Shoot a biscuit. Okay, pen. Tapered pen. Is that it? No, wait. No. No. Four effect. That's the one I like using for hair. Oh my god. Okay. So 
Let's try... That's not going to be thick enough. Let's go for a four. All right. We're going to need to... We're going to be overlapping a bit here, then. Oh, so how's the music for you guys? I hope it's not too loud. Or too quiet. I hope it's just right. You know, we get, I hope we get that Goldilocks uh, area of the music. All right, let's not use that one then, because that's not coming out the way I want it to. How about Tulip? Mapping? Ooh, maybe mapping. <sighs> A little bit of a darker to the hair. Yeah, maybe that. All right, good, good. Glad to hear. What's cartography look like? Ooh. That might work. Let's try this one, but let's bring it down to a four. That's too Italian plumbery. Now I want to bring that. A little more, I think. Uh, try and get from behind the nose like that. There we go. I think. Oh, thanks for the uh, thanks, Ralphie, for uh, the continued subscription for thirteen months. I, I I heard that fart in my ear. Oh, and there and there and there is the alert right there up in the corner. I did see that. Okay, so alerts are working. Thank you. They used to call it the porn stash. No, no, the porn stash is very much like a caterpillar. That would be more of your porn stash there. And that's more like the uh, superintendent mustache right there, I think. And we have one more coffee. This was a little bit of a cool day out today. You see, we learn things here on the art stream. We learn things here on the art stream. All right, let's turn that one off. We'll turn stash number two on. And for stash number two, uh, I want to try something else. I want to try pastel. Pastel, maybe. What about crayon? That's a Marine's favorite uh, right there. It's the crayon. Oh, that'd be good for stubble, but no. Noise, no. Chalk. Nah, it doesn't work. All right, back to the pencils. Let's see, real pencil? Hmm, no design pencil. Maybe, maybe the design pencil. Maybe let's let's test that one out first, because that's basically just going to be us. Working it out. Just kind of on its own, working in that box there. And then if we just take our sketch off. You see, that might work. I might need to put more uh, coloring out of there, but that might actually work. That might actually work. So we're good on that one. That one might actually just, yeah, we'll just leave that in the lines there. Hold that off for now. Turn that mustache back on. All right. Glasses, uh, glasses. Keeping with the brown because I want to use as little, uh, outlining like unnatural outlining as i can uh since obviously we're altering a for real picture here um 
I might even go further and just use this as a base thing, continue on from there, like making it its own thing. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, things can always change. Things always will change. Uh, but let's put that like almost black there for the base of his frames. And then we just grab something here. Sorry about that, a message. And uh, okay. So we can always transparent the, uh, the layer and erase what I don't like in the bleed over. So let's get back to our pen here. Okay, that's touch sensitive. That's the tapered pen, calligraphy, not really that pressure sensitive. Real G pen. That's pressure sensitive. What about a G pen? That's pressure sensitive for effect, no. That's very pressure sensitive. Uh, all right, let's go to the G pen. Actually, let's check our markers here. Felt pen. I mean, I know these are way too big there. Let's bring it down a little bit. Okay. Marker pen. I think I might go with that one. Dot pen. But well, dot pen's only one size. And flat marker. That one's really pressure sensitive. Um, let's try the marker pen for now. Uh, let's bump that to a four. And what we'll actually do is Okay, let's go to our palette, grab a blank spot, get the brown, blank spot there, get the brown. Let's put that there, because I actually want to make a little brighter color real quick here, up in the front. And I think I'm going to want to make the frames first before I go for the arms, just because I want the arm to be just a little bit darker, that first brown we had. Might be a little big, but so far, not bad, I think. That's looking pretty good, I think. All right. Uh, marker pen. I'll we'll just go ahead and just fill that in now, I guess. No. There we are. I'm going to turn the music down a little bit for myself here. There, hopefully it doesn't alter it too much for you guys. a little off for me. I like that bridge. Let's keep the bridge. Um, I 
think that's pretty good because give it that behind the nose kind of look. Don't think that's that bad. Let's zoom out. Oop. Turn the sketch off real quick. How's that looking on its own? It's not looking bad on its own. Let's grab our lasso tool because I do want to tweak this a little bit. Yeah, that looks better. Looks better. Looks a little more flat, a little more straight. Okay. Uh, back to our marker pen. Let's connect that. And then we'll erase as we need later. And then the bridge actually was a little bit under the top of the lens frames. So we'll just go do that like that. There we go. Yeah, there we are. And then... Yeah, there we are. That's that's looking pretty good there. That's looking pretty good, I think. Yeah. I think that is looking pretty good. Okay. We're just gonna go ahead and go to our color layer real quick. What the heck? No hit. Oh, I think I, I don't know what that was. Uh, oh, just, okay. Stash one. Oh, bogus. I didn't ink drop that, did I? I didn't ink drop either of those. Okay. Um, okay, first off, let's go ahead. Save that brown. It's for the glasses. Let's try and just eye drop that mustache color. Seems to be it right there. Hello, TK. And we're going to palette drop that there. Grab this real quick. Go back to our glasses line. Yes, go back to our glasses line. Hit that. And let's get our monofill. Oh, that's actually pretty good right there. I like how that did. Okay, we're good there. All right, back to our colors. Go ahead and pop that off. Back to our stash one color. That's in our color palette now. Hello, Diggy. Diggs. Mm. Jack Daniels coffee. Okay. Uh, all right, back to the fast marker. Yeah, let's just... Let's keep with the oil paintbrush here. No, actually, let's play with our pastel colors. Now let's use the chalk. We'll just kind of. Colored in just a little bit. That's not looking too bad, I think. It's not looking too bad, I think. That's what you are. That's what you are. Okay. Um, okay. Duplicate layer. The hair, stupid. That's the hair layer. All right, and let's go ahead and get rid of the mustache from that layer. And then we'll 
we'll get rid of the that layer. There we go. Let's take a look here. Okay, that's no mustache coloring in. So that's the second stash we made, this this one right here. The one that's just the color itself. Uh, you know, I think I like that one. So let's go ahead and just keep that off. Uh, so let's go ahead and repurpose this now. Get our eraser, just get rid of the mustache. And we'll just call this glasses now. This will just be the glasses. Or at the very least, the arms. But, um... You know. All right, let's grab this lighter brown here. Nope, let's grab the dark brown. And with our oil brush, let's go ahead and color that in. Like that. Because, well, okay, this will be our glasses base, even though we don't need much of that. Only a couple of things we'll need the base in. Uh, basically the arm and then the bridge. Color the bridge in a little bit. Go back. Yeah, color the bridge in. And let's make another layer for the shell. Another layer for the shell there. And that's going to be for, like, the whole shelling colors, which is like, I guess, essentially, the camel we did for uh, my little right down there. So, with that, uh, let's grab... A, well, let's stay on this lighter brown first. We'll get work on the arm. Uh, how do I want to do this? Um, India brush. Let's see what these look like. Oh... How about the smooth one? Watercolor? No, let's... Ooh, stamps. Let's look at the stamps. Uh, these are the brush, other brushes. Airbrush, stamps. Oh, stars. Bring it down. David Tennant! Oh, yeah! Anyway, okay. Enough of that. Um, oh, we probably got stars hiding under there, don't we? Oh, no, we don't. Okay. Soft pentagonals. Anyway, okay, I'm getting carried away with the stamps here. Um, the chain is pretty cool. If I ever need a Yo, yo, Doc, what's up? Oh, okay, that pearl's too big. Hang on a second. There. Get some extra ice bling on there. Yeah! There you go. Now he big pimpin'. Now he big pimpin'. Let's get that right down in there. You see, this is what you get when you leave me alone. Yeah, check that, check that. All right, anyway, okay, take that back. Uh, going back through the samples here. Back when MTV had music. Back when MTV had music. Melody, nature. Those are clouds, even though they look like fart clouds right now. All right, let's, let's take the clouds back off. Anyway, um, small stones, that's right. What were we doing again? Oh, right, uh, tortoise idea. Tortoise uh, shell shading things. Um, I got sidetracked. Nature, flames. That one's 
pretty neat. Oh, maybe I can use that for something. Other pictures. Um, let's. There we go. Um, bubbles. No, I don't really see anything. Okay, we gotta figure this out on our own. That's fine. That's fine. We'll do it ourselves. Uh, felt pen. Maybe. Let's make that a little bit smaller and see what we got here. Right. Shell. We got rid of that later by accident, didn't we? We did. Uh, shell might it's actually have to gonna go above the lines because it is gonna be shared in part uh, on the actual lines itself though. Let's mix a, that lighter brown in there that we use for the mustache, too. Because I think that'll help it a bit. Yeah, that is helping a bit. Look at that. That's, you know, I think that's actually pretty good there. I think that's actually looking pretty good. MTV still exists? Um, Maybe? I don't know. I never really watched MTV myself, to be honest. So... I could tell you neither here nor there if it did or not. Let's go ahead and bump that down to three. Again, I really had no interest in various things when I was a kid. If it wasn't a cartoon, it really didn't hold my interest that well. If it wasn't a cartoon or a video game, it really didn't hold my interest much as a kid. I was not one for IRL things. A handful of things like the Ninja Turtles movie, the Ghostbusters movie, yeah, but not much else. Like, I watched some episodes of Pete and Pete, but I was not a Pete and Pete fan. Oh, actually doubling over like that does help too a little bit with the blackening. So let's go ahead and retrace over that. A little bit. No, go back, go back, go back, go back. Yeah, I think you I think you're spot on there, Night Owl. Let's just grab put some of this lighter in here now. Hey, you know, I think it's looking pretty. Good. I think it's looking pretty good right there, huh? Yeah, look at that. That's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and save this at the moment. Okay. Okay, not bad, not bad. Um, make a folder here. This is our mostest on top layer. That's our mostest on top folder. Everything in here needs to be the mostest on top. It probably shouldn't be turned off or touched. Uh, colors. Yep, we need that. All right, those lines are pretty good. Okay. Okay. There were some other things I did want to do. So... Let's start with those. Um, he's got like tortoise frames. So that's what I was going for there. It's like the tortoise browns in there. That's kind of what that was. 
Uh, I think I need to add a little bit of shadow over here, though, to that mustachious. And that's in the lines. That's mustachious, too. Uh, let's grab the shadow spray. Grab this little darker one here. We'll just kind of just... Oh, that's... I'll just try and lightly a little darker under the nose and maybe a little darker on the bottom. I think that look I think that looks pretty good. Oh there are uh, there are some ideas, some ideas I got. Um, and for those ideas, though, we're going to need some more references. So let me go and grab those real quick. Let's see here. Ba -ba -ba. Images here, uh huh. <sighs> I'm trying to get some, uh no, not that one. Okay. All right, that's a good one there. Don't worry, you you will see the kitchen soon enough. Hmm. All right, maybe I need to. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print screen real quick here, too. There's print screen that one. Then go ahead and bring paint back up for you guys. All right. Open. No. Uh, new size. Yes. Oh. Gonna have to drop that down for a quick second here. Yes, okay. Let's crop that real quick. And I'll bring it back up now for you guys. All right, so we're gonna use this kitchen right here. Let's make it a little more precise cutting. Cause where would a chef be without his proper kitchen, right? Where would our precious chef be without his kitchen. And so, for now, we're just gonna save this as chef's kitchen. So we can use this in a few ways, and I'm gonna break, come back into uh, Clip Studio here, so I can go ahead and get rid of paint.net open back to my other folders. Oh, no, I put this in references now, didn't I? Yes, I did. <clears throat> Chef's Kitchen, there we go. All right, we're gonna go ahead and copy this down to our reference folders and paste that there. Okay. It, ooh, that's a pretty good matching there too, as far as like, how this is sitting. Uh, okay. So let's start by bringing this close to size. Well, no, I take that back because of the size of the tenant here. 
All right. All right. I want to do a few things here. I want to get, let's get a basic idea of how we can do this. Let's just start our cutting tool here. Going to be a little sloppy, but we're also going to try and be careful though. All right, let's go ahead and stop there. And then cut and paste back down here see that's that that's a small issue is it's that small little bleed out so we're just gonna go ahead go back and copy and paste that way we don't get that little bleed through okay back here and Nope, we gotta go back. Because that handle, start with the handle. All right, cheat our way over and around and then restart here. All right, uh, copy paste. And then start here at the bowl. No, we don't need to do that. Copy paste. I missed a little bit on there. Yeah, I cut a little bit off there too. And then copy. Oh no, oh, there we go. Copy paste, okay. So let's turn this off. <sighs> yeah. Okay, not to fret, not to fret. All right, we gotta go back to that middle. Yeah, number three is nothing. Delete that layer because we were on the wrong layer. And that's essentially, okay. That's fine, we can also layer over two, but Fun little fact about the Swedish chef. Uh, while he was a live hands Muppet, 
which is, you know, a Muppet performed with two performers. Um, unlike the other live hand Muppets like Rolf, Fozzie, Dr. Teeth, Cookie Monster, there was no quote unquote left hand. Uh, normally how those Muppets are done is with a left hand, <coughs> excuse me, or rather a right hand. Uh, many of the Muppets were puppeteered with the right hand in the head. And then if they were a live hand, uh, it was the, the puppeteer's left hand, control the left hand. And then they had a second puppeteer come in to do the, uh, did I just, okay, no, I didn't, uh, come in and do the opposite hand for what was it being controlled. Uh, the chef was unique in the way that uh, Jim Henson did the voice and the head and Frank Oz did both hands. So he was one of those rare cases where uh, the puppeteer, Jim in this case, did not have complete control over the puppet because while there was the script, Fr we're just like the layers, Frank uh, could have done uh, some other things that weren't necessarily what Jim was planning on doing with the chef at that time. So the Swedish chef was a little more chaotic than some of the uh, other live-handed Muppets out there. All right, so what we've got, we've got our, uh, we've got our counter there. And basically what I want to do is that counter would be no pull that up because now this counter does need to be in front of everything that would be sitting approximately yes that all could be sitting right about there which actually wouldn't be that bad if the sizing is a little off so let's go ahead and just bork that up a little bit. I mean, yeah, let's do this. Just size up a little bit more. There we go. Just have a few things peeking up here because uh, I will be following the contours of the original uh, image here when I go to crop it. Oh, do you have a cheeky? Yes, we do have a cheeky. All right. But let's go ahead and turn this off for now. Because it's time for the background. Time for the background. So let's dive into this picture here. Um, we're going to start cutting Dave out of here. We're going to start taking Dave out of his TARDIS. I think. No, we'll leave him in the TARDIS, but, 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 <laughs> but, uh, we're going to get rid of this door. We're going to get rid of the one doorway here. So we'll just start. Mm. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll just do it like that. Let's do it like that. Cut and paste. Turn off. I'm 
Yeah, we'll just we'll leave that corner. We'll just leave that corner turned off because that will be our main corner. Everything else can just be deleted. All right, we are going to be just pixeling this one up. And this will probably be the most closely cut image I think I will have done in the history of my ever. And all these year of image editing. Since that TARDIS is very close to his suit, though, it's a little hard to tell where one ends and where one begins. So we're just going to be uh, guessing a little, quite a bit here. Because it does look like there is a lot of bleed. But I think we're doing pretty decent here, actually. Yeah, there is going to be some color bleed just because of how lighting works. Um, like, I don't necessarily want to get rid of a lot of this here because that just might be color on his suit, kind of like a, the green screen effect. Um, so that might be something I have. I'll have to try and blend out or in later, but I think I can get a little more of this taken out. I think I can chunk these pieces here. Yeah, it's it's a little easier when it comes to doing the head, obviously, because uh, the skin color is, so, color is so different from the TARDIS color. And as long as we just make a decent border around it, I can then just start hacking out a majority uh, as well. I can actually, I'll actually be cutting all this out too, which means I can then turn off uh, uh, the, uh, this, this layer here. So I'll be able to do that. Yeah, I mean, there probably is. Um, I really haven't done a huge deep dive into Clip Studio. Um, like, I, it, it, it is capable of doing more than I can do. I will say that right now. Um, I'm very much a learn-by-doing person. Uh, I'll do a little bit of research on some things, but I am mostly just, I use this as a tool as I see the tool. So, uh, bang, bang, go hammers, and that is what they shall do for me. Oh, wait, what am I doing? That's not the actual, I could just go behind the hat like this, and just cut that. Because the hat's its own layer. Duh, silly me. Ha, huh, look at that. Oh. All right, let's go ahead. Because, like, you could do animation in Clip Studio. I have yet to figure that out. I would like to figure that out someday, but I have yet to figure out uh, doing animation in Clip Studio. All right. I think I could be safe and chunk this out here. Let's see how that'll look before I do that. All right. And delete. Let's not chunk that out yet, but we will move the kitchen fully behind him. Let's try that again. 
just because that is so vastly different, even though that is part of his shoulder. Zoom out, delete. Yeah, that straight line just looks too unnatural, so. We'll just kind of follow that up and into a corner there. That's a little better. Uh, maybe we will blur that up a little bit. Let's try that now, actually. Let's just grab our fingertip. Yeah, it works. Look at that. That was, that was pretty good there. That was pretty good. That's, that's pretty good smudge and fake there. Good call. Good call there, uh... Good call there, Cass. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Uh, anyway, lines. Topmost layer. We just go ahead and just turn that off. Because we will be cutting that out. But uh, let's follow this line down. Cut that. And we're just going to follow that up here to the door. Hack that out. Yeah, there we go. It's getting pretty. It's working pretty well now, I think. Just kind of dodge his little fingies there. Yeah, so there we go. All right, let's go ahead and turn this corner back on. All right, let's grab our chef here. I want the window back there is what I want. All right, so if we do that, let's hold that there, turn that off. Ooh, that, that's not bad. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, chef here. Cancel that. Turn our counter on. Let's turn the transparency down because I want to try and match sizes now. And that salt and pepper, oh. Look at that, it's like, we're almost like size for size right there. Just a little bit bigger. I think that does it right there. I think that'll do it right there. It's okay that. Turn this back up to full. Let's take this kitchen though. Hide it just a bit more. There we go. And then I think what we'll do is we'll cut down here. Okay, has for coffee think time. Coffee think time. Jack Daniels coffee think time. As much as it... All right. 
let's go ahead and do this. Dang it. Uh, rectangle. Uh, copy paste. Move the whole thing down there. Uh, well, you see, this coffee apparently was made with Jack Daniels, and you could smell it when you while I was putting the grounds in the uh, percolator. I think, I think this will work for what I want. I think this works for what I want. I wasn't sure if cutting the bowl off behind the door worked, but I think it does, because it looks like he's opening up the TARDIS. It's like he's opening it up to the kitchen. I think this works. We just got to clean up that bowl a little bit now. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Uh, now let's go ahead and clean this bowl up. Let's grab our eraser. Let's knock it down to a 10, I think. Uh, hard erase. We're just going to go ahead. Do a little bit of cleanup on the bowl. Okay, that's that, that's that's fair there, uh, Master Mayhem. That's fair. Normally, I put um, rum chata in uh, in my coffee if I'm on a creamer. Oh no, I'm on a creamer. Guess I gotta put rum chata in. That's pretty good there. Now let's grab our blend tool, save, go to our Dave layer here. Let's try and just bring some of this lighter color up into his shoulder. Using our finger blend. Can I do that? Maybe our blend? No, it's gotta be two colors is what it is. Okay. That Bailey's, yeah. 
Uh, rum chowder also makes a great substitute for milk and cinnamon toast crunch. Uh, no, I'm on the actual. Uh, uh, I was on the actual tenant. Oh no, I was on the background layer. Look at that. Let's go ahead and just undo all that. I thought I was on a tenant layer. Okay, uh, back to our fingertip tool then. Okay, let's just try and. Yep, that's the right. Yep, that's the right layer. Okay, it's just not as strong as I was hoping for. Okay. That's too obvious of a smudge of a blend there. Uh, hardness. Yeah, no, that's too much. All right, back to our fingertip. Uh, let's increase its size to 15. No, 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 it's, it's, it's nice to have another pair of eyes on things at times. But yeah, I see what you're saying about the background. Let's, let's go all the way back. Because I do need to get that fixed there. Turn this off and watch this come back. All right, there we go. Okay. Actually, let's go ahead and do this, though. Turn this off. Uh, all right. Save, but I'm going to change canvas size here. Dang it, canvas, stop it. Cancel. All right, now change canvas size. We'll just grab it. And change canvas size. And just a wee bit smaller than what it was. Go ahead and get rid of that. Get rid of, don't need that one. Turn this on. Save. And uh, you know what? For the moment, I think that's looking pretty good. Once again, save as. Make sure. Yep, Dr. Chef. Yep, save that. That format and now we will save this as the PNG Dr. Chef. There we go. I think that turned out pretty good. As tossed together as we did, I don't think that's half bad. Oh yeah, no, I I went to the to the borders of the original picture. Uh, is what I was working in. Um, obviously, I wasn't going to do the whole kitchen, but yeah, I was going to work within the borders of the original picture. And I think it turned out pretty well. Because now, if you wanted to, we've got this whole thing right here, and then you know he can grab and use uh grab and use your know, section of the picture zoom in and whatnot for discord or whatever other icons he wants to use too so got that saved there uh i'm gonna go ahead and close out the images and paint that there you don't need to see that a sonic spatula um Maybe he was if he was actually holding it. Yes, I could see and watch for the argument of that. 
Um, I appreciate the idea. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Uh, if I was more of a man, maybe. Or if I was doing more of... If I was doing more in the picture, I think I may have also done it like that as well. Um, but neither here nor there, friends. Good idea. Good idea, nonetheless. Good idea, nonetheless. Here's Johnny Axe. You know what? I'm, I'm going to be honest. If, the, if that's Doctor Who reference, uh, unfortunately, I don't get it. I'm sorry. I just was not a Whovian. Oh, that's right. We need to... Nose. Nose. We need to make th this area here a little more believable, I think. So let's turn that back up. Uh, shell, turn this down a little bit. Let's go ahead and turn this off, actually. Because we do need to do some editing on the shell. Uh, get my eraser back out. And uh, with uh, the coloring, let's bring it up to let's see, yeah, 60, 70 ish. All right. Uh, I think if I just follow that, bring that up, turn the lines on. I think that's a little believable there. It may look a little rough, but I think I think that's actually pretty good there. I think that's actually uh, fairly desante. That's actually fairly decent. Uh, so once again, we'll save it in the PNG. Yes. And also save it as the studio file. Yes, replace it. There we go. There we go. All right, let me just sit back, look at this for a second, let it stew and ruminate. Eh. <coughs> uh, stew and ruminate a little bit. Make sure I fully like it. Hmm. Uh, anything else I think I'm missing? I don't... I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I got the glasses as I wanted to. Oh yeah, he's yeah. The, the, the chef has used uh, many an instrument in his day in his kitchen. Uh, against many. Many a varmint in it, in his kitchen as well. Swedish uh, Wonderful man, that Swedish chef, though. Wonderful, wonderful man. Uh, I can't believe they let him out of jail, but you know what? Hey, good on him. Uh, the charges didn't stick, but we knew they wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I think this is looking pretty decent. Um, kind of pleased with the bit of shading we did on the mustache there. Uh, maybe a little more on this side. Maybe a little more blending. Maybe uh, I'll use the soft spray in there. Kind of fill that in. You know what? Yeah. Let's delete this mustache line here. And we'll use that for an air for this airbrush tool. Let's bump that down to a five though. No, I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. It's this little guy is bothering me up here. Uh, 
Yeah, okay, it's looking a little too... Try and bounce it out a little bit. There, I think that... Save that as... Yeah, I think that's sitting a little better with me. Let me check the stream now. Wonderful quote there, uh, there, Grimos. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think, yeah, that's not that bad. Um, a little something down here. I'm looking between the stream itself and also like uh, the program because I think looking on the stream does help a little bit too. Kind of seeing it in a, a in a different view, if that makes any sense. I don't know if it does. And I don't think it does. So I don't know. I don't know. And is, is that really how the stream looks? I gotta take a look real quick. Because I think the stream, the stream you guys see might be a little different from the uh, manager dashboard, too. I'll go ahead and stop streaming now in Discord itself. I wanna double check something here, because eventually I will be making a border uh, to go around. Oh, you're gonna hear that. Okay, yeah, no, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Uh, so, okay. So no, OBS is the more true than what's in the uh, creator dashboard shows me. Because there's a lot more empty space, negative space on the creator dashboard that I can see for stream management. That's where we change the names, everything like that. And that's just one of the windows I have popped open for, uh, for this whole thing. Okay, that... It's still bugging me a little bit here. This looks a little too thick compared to uh, the other half. So I'm going to try bringing that in a little bit here. Let's undercut it a little bit too. Tackle it from both ends. All right, let's bring that up here and just watch, sit, let it stew, ruminate in my face. Okay. That's looking a little better, yeah. Uh, okay, now it's looking a little too clean. Now it's looking a little too clean, if that makes any sense. Let's... Pull this all back. Pull it all back. Pull it all back. All right. There. We use the chalk for that, yes. Wow. That is what? It's wild. Oh, that's because it's there. Okay. Yeah, we use the chalk on that. So what I want to try and do is, let's save this again. Let's cut this. Let's just retry this whole side here. Nope, 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 nope. Because we did use that for our base sketch. Or you just turn the base sketch back on. There it is. 
Okay. Do this again. Get back to chocolate's book, chalk up to five. All right, turn the sketch off. Okay, not bad. All right, see you later, Cass. Okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. Now let's go to this layer and let's get the airbrush. Let's take a peek there. All right, let me zoom in a little bit for you guys now too. There we go. All right, just kind of looking through. Uh, that corner is a little more something. Let's use the airbrush to bring that in. How's that looking? Not bad, I think. Not bad, I think. Yeah? Yeah, not that bad. Not that bad. Um... Round it a little bit. Let me check the stream. No, 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 it's too much. Oh, too close. I think I know, actually know that's, that might have been the problem. Bring it back, turn the sketch back on. Chuck. As I curve when I should have just gone up and down. There. And now let's get the airbrush back out. Can I just color that in lightly? Okay, not bad. And there is such a thing as too much refinement. Actually, let's grab the blend a little bit and just... And I'm just experimenting a little bit here. Yeah, I think it was, I, I, that's actually looking a little bit better, I think. I think it was the coloring, since it was all one color on that side, is what was bugging me. Uh, but I think adding that little extra dark helped me a little bit here. Let me zoom in a bit more. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and save that. And then save as, back to our PNG, save as. I guess replace. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good there. I think, I think this might be it. I think that might be it. Uh, I'm sure Doc has signed off by now, but I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna send that to him. And if he gets back to me, he gets back to me. And I'll let you know his live reaction if he gets back to me in the next, you know, 10, 15-ish minutes we have left in our wonderful stream. Uh, there we go. Dr. The Chef. Mr. Dr. The Chef. There we go. I sent that to him. 
Go ahead and close that out now. Don't save. Don't save. But yeah, we uh, look at that. We got yet another another picture done on stream. Um, hey, you know I don't mind doing these other uh little quick side pictures, side requests now and again for uh for some of our other wonderful hosts here on uh, WBPL. Uh, it's it's fun. It's fun just drawing, doodling, and whatever. Uh, the streams really are really just helping me out just just to keep drawing, keep doodling. Uh, I have hit a little bit of a personal art block, uh, and that's just you know me wanting to do some personal. Uh, and by personal, I mean not related to any of the stream activity, but you know just pictures I have jostling around in my head. Kind of hit a bit of an art block with that, but you know at least hang out with you guys once once a week get me working for at least a couple hours you know isn't that bad uh keeps me still active and working on the program so you know that's that's a whole something there that's a whole something there uh but yeah open up where is it should be in here that's the digs there we go. But yeah, we're still working here on our Super NES reaction. Uh, we just have some of the basics down. We've got our initial idle animation, and we've worked on... Oh, look at that. We got a follow. Someone followed, did a follow. Oh no, that was a subscription. Stekinis, thank you for the uh, continued eight-month subscription there. But as I was saying, we have our Super Nintendo reaction down, our imaging. We've got our idol. We've just got some of our... Uh, and we've got our active animation there. And what in the hell is that over there? Let's, uh, let's get rid of that now, since we're here. That's not the cord layer. It's not the hand layer. It's the gauntlet layer. Oh, that's right. I know what that was. I know what that originally was. That was us just kind of just looking at things and how that arm was going to be. So let's go ahead and get rid of that now since, since we're here. Uh, gauntlet. Bumped up to a 15. Yeah, it's bumped up to 25. There we go. Oop. Take that out. Yeah, we're going to have to save. Uh, I definitely think it's the... Uh, You know, we'll, we'll work on the lines next week. Uh, might still be adding things in lines there, but, you know, as is, as is to be. Uh, we'll get it straightened out, though. We'll, we'll, we'll get this straightened out to where uh, I like most of it, I think. Uh, I should. But, yeah, there we go. Well, I mean, we've got like 10 minutes left. Got 10 minutes left. Nothing stopped me from actually, you know, filling up the 10 minutes of, you know, what I had originally started to do. Uh, but, but, so. Let's at least get some of our lines down. So under our sketch, we've got the base. So let's get that other folder in there then for base. And then, of course, we'll put down our other things here. Uh, we've just, you know, got the armor. Da, 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 da. All right, what are, we, what are we calling those? Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of things. Armor. Gauntlet. Hand. Faith. Helmet. Details. Oh yeah, we'll just do it like that. Uh, 
grab that. Let's grab, uh, there we go. Let's get Striker's Palette ready. Back on black. Uh, pen, 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 pen. Which pen do we want to use? I don't know. Which pen do we want to use? Uh, what pen have we been using? Let's try the mill pen. Actually, I think we'll try the mill pen out. See how that kind of uh, works with this all. I think that might be a little interesting. Uh, let's see, we're here on the armor. So we... No, I think my felt pen, yeah, that's the one that is somewhat trained. And how is it trained? Just by speed, I guess. Let's, all right. Does that? Nope. Is that the stabilization? Yes, that's the stabilization that did that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, stabilization, turn that off. Never mind. Maybe. Yeah, there is one th there is one of these settings. And you think it would be stabilization. Will kind of compensate for oh post correction, that's what it is. It's post correction. Yeah, post-correction, like if you're trying to make a straight line, but you go out a little bit, it will help keep that straight for you. Uh, the stronger you have it there, the more it will compensate. So actually doing that for the armor, wow, that's a huge correction there. But you really have to want to make a curve in order for it to do that. But the lighter you have that, or the less extreme you have it, but yeah, some see. Or you turn it all the way up, it'll pretty much keep that straight line for you. Let's go ahead and put that back down the middle. But let's lose the mill pen. That's uh, an eight. Let's take it to a six. No, nope. five. Let's put it at five. You know what? Let's put some post correction on it too uh correction oh did that not take that did not take After a line, apply stabilization, make the line smooth. All right, just by speed. According to velocity of the stroke. Interesting. Canvas is... Hmm. Oh, that's right. There, turn the eye on there. That's what puts it on. And we can just also, you know, turn it on and off by there. Yeah, it's a Verdia symbol. That is, that's, uh, that's my symbol. Back in the GameCube days. That is my symbol, yep. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I played a little bit of PSO last Saturday because Star Fox was really just, just, I was having it out with, with, with General Pepper. And, yeah, that was... A little infuriating, but uh, you know what? I said, let's let's not, and I swapped I swapped games last week. But speaking of, we will be back into Star Fox tomorrow. Back into Star Fox Assault. So, you know, regularly scheduled program, so to speak. Uh, when it comes to System Saturdays. Let's go ahead and just freaking max correction because these are supposed to be angle, you know, like right angles. 
And actually, I did find out black magic there. If you hold down the shift button, it does like an automatic line uh, maker. I found that out some, some months ago, and I'm like, holy hell, that, that could like, but that potentially changes a lot of things. Actually, let's turn the correction down because I do want a bit of a curve in that. Alright, easily solve that by rounding out the corner here. There we go. Oh, that's the wrong zoom. It'll we'll save there. But yeah. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, more Star Fox Assault tomorrow. Um, we'll uh, have an update on General Pepper. I'll, I, I'll have to fill you guys in on that. So, there will be more Star Fox for those that have been watching and enjoying that. Uh, let's just... Oh. I think that's that bad. <coughs> we'll just bring this out from here. I might actually end up redoing all these lines too because the straightness isn't bad, but from that shift straight tool isn't bad but at the same time i don't know how i like it that much it's well it's seeming a bit unnatural now i'm abusing it but the core but the uh Post correction, I am liking a little bit, yeah. So, um, you know what? That's what I think I'll do. I will save this, but we'll come back and we'll be redoing some lines next week. So, with that, that brings us to the end of the art stream. It's levels and items, they reworked controls, and gave it online. I mean, uh, start it. Let's see. Unlocks for the multiplayer, um, I think really the only quote-unquote unlockable was Wolf, who's broken as fuck uh, in the multiplayer. But yeah, it would need a complete rebalance and reworking of the tools to do like an online thing. But anyway, um, that will more or less bring us to the end of the art stream. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, I'll be back again next Friday with more art. Uh, I'll also be on tomorrow for System Saturdays, where we will be continuing Star Fox Assault. And of course, later tonight, we will be having our Farming Fridays. So those of you that enjoy that, as far as I know, it is on the way. So with that, you have a good rest of your evening, and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>